Captain of the pretty awesome soundtrack. Uh, surprisingly, uh, Transformers not the greatest movies in my book, but they have some pretty awesome soundtracks. And uh, that's why I was playing those right there. So, European matches already happened today. Uh, lots of them, in fact, except, except, well, except a few, in fact, here. Uh, a couple no shows I've seen, but tomorrow we have, I believe it is. Where is the match? It just disappeared on me. Here we go. Uh, super sick. Next level Legion Squadron Team Bros. And yes, that is one team. Uh, facing Playhard on Crossfire as well. That will be 10 p.m. CET tomorrow for all you Americans out there, South Americans, North Americans, wherever you're from. Um, that will be at, let me think, um, 4 p.m. Is that correct? Yes, I believe 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have the chance to check that match out tomorrow should be a fun match to watch, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, SNL STB facing... SNL STB is not true. SNL STB is facing uh, Playhard yet again. One of the matches we have seen several times already in the past. While now actually everyone is in the server. So let's go into this map here. Uh, so I can just very very quickly give you a little overview um by the way in the chat of the stream we have a little uh bot going you just have to type exclamation mark vote space and then either ofb or i9 if you want to vote for one of the teams and i think around half time i will end that poll and see where we are with the standings and who you guys think will be the favorites um, two teams here, of course, we have, um, that's defense over here, I believe that's Bravo, if I'm not mistaken, starting on this area. And then we have Assault starting all the way on the other side here, next to those uh, containers. And the goal of the object uh, of the map is to get this objective here in the middle, uh, it's a bomb, so arm and defend kind of style. And it's a super tiny map, so a lot of set nades can be placed here to take out people early. The problem is, there, are a lot, there will be a lot of action going on during the start of each round, and I will have a very, very tough time trying to follow the action and trying to catch as many kills as possible. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do, at least the first round or two, uh, I think I'm just going to do... Um, Flying high like this about this 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 position here. Just see where everyone goes, so you guys have an idea of the setup for each team, and then just fly into someone and try to to follow their action as the round progresses. Uh, we will see kills from up here, but we see everything happening at the same time, and then I hope we will be able to um, to catch catch a lot at least uh, the last couple of kills during each round, hopefully. So uh, assault. Uh, I believe has a pretty big advantage on this map. Um, of course, they have to take the bomb, which is tough, but the way the map control works here, uh, Assault has a huge advantage. Now, here's why. Uh, the points where we will see a lot of action is one of them, one of them is over here. Uh, on Assault, you start here, go around this corner and try to find anyone. Uh, there's a different spot you can take it. Try to find anyone crossing a part over and even going into this building. So there will be smokes and fox around here for sure. And there will be a lot of spam going on down here. Um, the same thing will happen with anyone who's going into this building upstairs trying to find people. And of course, in the objective room itself, Ice 9 is already on the server and O with B is already here as well. The other problem is defense can't really push around here because then they are way out in the open and can be attacked from like up here from the several mate spots up here and of course they can just sit back here and shoot anyone so assault can get control of this building can get control of radio room can get control of the uh, containers over here and control of the whole courtyard so defense is really pushed back into this little corner over here not a lot of room to work with so we'll see what both teams are going to come up with OFB starting on defense, and they are starting with Grim Reaper, General Swift, Overkill, Turbo, and I think the name is Neroth. Uh, I'm gonna stay with Neroth, maybe it's Nyroth. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna say either one of them. Um, and on the Ice 9 side, we have G, Bama, Iron Sean, and Dude. We are about to go live, and this is exactly what we have been waiting for. TWL preseason starting. One week before everything counts. 
Um, this is not cunning for the league, but, uh, well, four guys of Ice Nine going to the left. So a lot of shooting going on down here. And actually, someone passed here. It's Grim Reaper. Got hit by some spawn, almost taking out G, but G and Bama both there. Grim Reaper manages to get a kill, but Bama also takes him out for the first. Yes, hello, Doc. Double kill of the map, of the round. Uh, G took a lot of damage as well, and General Swift takes him out with Nate. And there's more iron in the chair room. I'm just gonna call this room chair. Uh, it'll be very easy, Nirov takes him out, so that's a kill for him, very well done. Overkill and spawn, and looks like a pretty standard setup for defense. Sean, however, takes on Turbo, opening up the objective area. Nirov is behind him, and that should give him a second kill there. Uh, exactly true, and Overkill takes out, dude. Uh, OFB, what they did, I'm quickly gonna try to recap this here. Um, actually winning the first round on defense, number one. And uh, Ice Nine, I don't know. They they got caught off guard here. That's just this push by who was that? Uh, General Swift, I believe. If not, my apologies. Into the into this container actually worked out great. He almost got two kills, wounded one of them really badly, and got the second kill. And that actually shouldn't have happened. You could see this two uh, two Ice Nine guys around here, a little bit out of place. Uh, not something you want to do uh, as we fly back up as the round is about to start. And then, of course, Nirov with a huge job getting two kills on the other side of the map and finishing off Ice 9. Just like that. So, next round going to start. We're playing uh, best of 21, so ever first to 11 wins. Similar setup for both teams. Lots of spam going on. I think I'm going to follow uh, Dude next time. Bama gets a kill on Nirov this time. Uh, so opening up the south side, it doesn't look like Ice 9 is actually rotating around for that. Uh, maybe Dude will do that. Let's see where he's gonna go here. Nah, he, they're staying on they're staying on the southeast side. And there is a guy right down here uh, at spawn. General Swift. He should have seen Bama. Maybe the smoke just co uh, covered him a little bit. Moving up towards the crane. Flashes coming out. More flashes coming out. Sean takes our green repair. That must have been in the objective. Five v two in spawn. Oh, Dude doesn't check the spawn. Overkill gets them. Gets him in general. Swift should get that kill on. Oh, and Sean, it was unfortunate. I think he had to reload. Aaron gets a kill on Overkill. Overkill takes out Bama. Uh, on, on Overkill still alive, of course. Uh, Iron, last guy here on the. Uh, yeah, that's a little fast box room. And G coming from blue building or from the bridge as I'm trying to catch up with the action here. 1 1 score. Ice 9 got, the, got one kill and then kind of. Took a little bit of time, but once they rotated around and got rolling, just the OFB members just fell one after another. And it was a pretty, pretty solid round there for Ice Nine on Assault. Um, we haven't had a lot of matches on this map, so all my predictions are going to be based on just gut feeling, really. But I believe with 10 rounds on the first half, Assault should win at the very least six. Six rounds to be somewhat comfortable. More would pre would obviously be preferable, but uh, at least six rounds you want to win on Assault. Uh, have a decent chance to finish out the match and actually win it. Um, let's have a look. Ice 9 seems to be doing a similar setup. I'm going to follow these guys here in the middle as he's spamming down. Oh, I'm not sure he's shot General Swift going up there. No smokes this time from OFB. And Sean is very aggressive around the objective. Bama gets a nade kill against Grim Reaper. Uh, no one from OFB even in the objective. Sean now pushing around, and that could pay out huge from- Oh, there's two guys here, and he has no idea! <gasps> he just saw him. Unfortunate for him, overkill. Just got into the door at the right timing for him. Uh, dude must have heard the guy above him, and he knows that overkill is somewhere at the bridge area. Uh, flash is coming out. Oh, that in blue! Uh, dude, I'm calling this building blue, I don't know why. Um, that building over there, south building. There's a guy all the way at the bottom. Dude has no idea, and G should be spotting him in just a second. There we go. Oh, General Swift got out and took out Dude. G got out General Swift, however, uh, as he pushed for for Dude. So, 3v2 situation. I'm wondering where the last two OFB guys are. Around objective, that's overkill. And in... Oh, no, box room. Easy shot there. Nirov holding his own yet again. Taking out Iron and evening up the score. 2-2. Two, two. Well, not score, but player count. Two against two. Uh, more shooting. Bama take down overkill at the objective. And now Nirov has to come up huge. He has been spotted as well. Flash coming out. And that must have flashed. Maybe. Bama trying to find him. And actually gets the kill on Nirov. Well done. 2-1 score. Ice 9 turning it around. 
after leaving the first one and uh, leaning the, uh, losing the first one here we go english is a very hard language apparently and uh now winning two rounds in a row five kills for bama and um let's see dude and turbo both still looking f to pick up their first kills uh ice nine potentially doing something different uh running back to spawn apparently having some fun here um Let's see what's happening. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna see a fairly similar setup from them every round. Except the round is about to start and they're not going to the side. What is going on here? Uh, here we go. Alright, there we go. They know exactly what they're doing. Uh, Sean, oh, he actually went up here. Let's follow Sean because he's pretty aggressive up front. Uh, he has to watch out for those windows on his right because you can spam through there pretty effectively. And... Uh, Nate coming. Oh, that could be just the right timing if he gets it into the building. There we go. Spam happening, actually. Not taking him down. Not even hitting him, in fact. Uh, almost saw his opponent going into the corner of the box room. That's dude also throwing a Nate inside. Or uh, maybe into spawn, actually. Next to him, Nate landing in court. Yeah, putting him down to... S How did that Nate hit him to 7%? I guess he just got shot before. G with a Nate against General Swift. I believe that was the objective guy. If not... It, no, it wasn't. It was a guy in uh, self-building. Uh, Iron also in that during Green with Obama now being spotted from the window, so he knows there's a guy in the window. Objective, Sh Sean immediately takes down Turbo, and spawn overkill has been spotted several times now. So he has to come up with a different spot. Last guy alive, uh, box room actually, smoke coming out, they're just spamming around. The problem is, he doesn't have enough bullets, and that allows Nero to take out Sean as Bama has to reload. Not quick enough to take down his pistol, but no problem, teammate came to help. Takes him down and therefore wins another round for Ice Nine. Um, big problem here for OFB. It looks like they seem to be using similar setup, especially, and that's the problem I said in the beginning. You don't have a lot of room here. Like you basically almost have to have a guy in spawn because he can't really go anywhere else unless you put two people in the same area. Uh, so Overkill uh, has to do something different, I believe. Uh, he can't just keep standing in this very spot here. So, we'll, we'll see what's gonna happen. Let's quickly have a look at the scopes here. Uh, obviously, you can't see that. Uh, red dot, red dot, red dot. They're all red dots on OFB side, so that's good, I would say. There's no need to get an ACOG unless you have some really weird long range commitment here. I don't think that would happen. So, Grim Reaper now in spawn and Overkill actually pushing to the right, trying to counter spam, gets hit and is now at the crane, probably pushing towards. Oh, nice, Bama! Obviously, Overkill got reported there. And then immediately a nade followed by Bama, uh, dude being taken down by Turbo after G, I believe, got a kill. And here we go, Bama pushing to spawn, and Grim Reaper is right in front of him. Oh, B wow, where did he aim at there? Bama takes him down, and G now going self-building upstairs. Bama already taken down General Swift. One guy alive, and he's Turbo in the box room. Matter of time until he's getting taken out. That's a good push by him, uh, getting a kill early, but he pays with a lot of health and heals himself. As G comes in from the south and takes him out as well. 4-1, to one, Ice 9 with a very, very nice lead. Um, let's see what OFB changed around. I like what they did there. Um, it was a more aggressive idea on defense. I'm definitely in favor of that. Uh, didn't work out for them, but hey, I mean, it's not everything can work out. I think, I think there's different things you can do on defense in order to push certain areas, like push down here like they did. But I guess he should have gone into, into uh, containers or something like that. Uh, you can also push this uh, tire bridge up here. Uh, difficult, but possible, especially with flashes, smokes, and nades, whatever the heck you have. And uh, let's fly up here, see what's happening at the start of this round. Excuse me. There we go. Uh, everyone going to the right? Yeah, less aggressive. Uh, smoke coming out. Overkill with a nade somewhat forward. Gets a kill on dude. I'm not sure where to... Oh, all the way back here. Nice nade. Bama, however, responds, takes on Nero 4v4. Bama already pushing through. You can see an easy kill here. Not doing it. The pillar helps him, but Overkill then goes down to Bama. Only losing 20% of his health. Uh, G and Bama both pushing south very aggressively. General Swift around spawn. Just threw a nade, and that's the bad thing for him, as he couldn't get his gun up in time. Bama takes him down. Turbo gets a kill on Sean. It must have been around. Oh, God, there's two guys. Shoots at the dead guy instead of a life guy, but G from the back. No. Uh, Iron actually from the back from north uh, tire stairs takes him down in a 2v1 situation Bama with 12 killed so far uh, Crazy action dude actually still looking for a 
kill uh i think we're gonna make this a special dude round and he's gonna appreciate it once he looks back at this uh matchup because in the past when i've done this and just followed one player exclusively they usually come up with big two or three kill rounds and i think dude would be very happy to have something like this happen right now so we're gonna follow him um of course i've jinxed it now but who cares and um we'll see what dude can do Oh, I also have Ice 9 on TeamSpeak, by the way. So I could actually do uh, uh, a war room in just about. Yeah, he's playing us more defensive here. Uh, in just about uh, another round or so. Iron and Turbo taking each other out. Double kill yet again. Hey, Doc. So, dude moving courtyard and moving back. He seems to be a little unsure where he wants to go. Um, clearly, he doesn't want to die. Um, waiting for reports, I guess, and then trying to push some side wants to decide what they're gonna do there we go guy down there oh yeah i don't think he hit him there but the nate could actually do some damage where is it here we go going up to tires that's a perfect nate should get two kills oh where did it go oh, it went down unfortunate for him i want to go back to dude quick don't want to lose him there oh he almost dies because i switched away from him unfortunately sorry about that my bad uh flash is coming out more smoke coming out there's actually a frammy in front of him and what is Duke gonna do? 16% health. He has to push around. There's gotta be a guy up there. Oh, you can see him! Grim Reaper! Oh, he makes it back through the window. Nice play by Grim Reaper. That flash actually should flash someone. Um, and dude now pushing around, trying to find a hit here against Grim Reaper. Gets it! First kill, dude! Second kill! No, Nerov takes him out. 1v1 situation. But dude has done a pretty damn good job for his team here. Uh, G just needs to finish what he started. Nero still. There we go. Bleeding, I wanted to say. 20%. Playing it a little smarter now, he just has to wait, because G still has to take the objective. And um, that will be a huge giveaway, because of all the sound that objective makes. Um, oh, he's gonna see him here! Oh, that was so unfortunate, so close. Almost got the kill on Nerov, and now, oh, uh, the way he's moving makes it... Makes me think that... Oh, there we go! Nice shot! G with two bullets into the face of Nerov. Takes him down 6 to 1 and we're gonna join ice 9 for one round of team talk why we should probably go over here to follow them i just be ready for my nade that's them right, talking so. oh i think I that's the main yeah, no first. Oh. It might be a rush to the objective we'll see Yeah. Let's see the native Bama. All right. I'll be coming up yellow right behind you. And if not, then it's a tire bridge rush. I, I got believe. Second. Yeah, tire. That's hard to tell. Now objective rush. Nate I'm being Nate. taken out here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What oh, the oh. heck <laughs> just <laughs> happened? <laughs> I just tried to switch from a player to another and everyone died in the meantime. <laughs> Apparently it's the first time it failed too. That was hilarious. I uh, wish we could join OFB right now. Uh, they're unfortunately not on TeamSpeak here, but uh, we will try to make that happen for the next time we'll cast them. Um, okay, lost round there for Ice 9 and I'm sure they will never do that again in a live match. <laughs> nice push. Um, nothing worked. Uh, Bama got taken out by a counter nade and his nade didn't do a lot of damage and then as soon as they ran in, that's when they all died, really. They didn't make it anywhere. They got another kill, I believe, but that's about it. And let's see what OFB does this time. I don't think they'll expect another rush, but you never know what's actually going to happen here. Um, Swift. Oh, that could be a push down here. Let's follow Overkill. Push around north, maybe. Nade inside chair room. Not going to hit anyone. And giving away his position. Iron is... Oh, you saw Iron there. And there's another... Oh, nice headshot by Overkill against Sean. That was pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, he has to get out of here soon, though. Uh, they're actually pushing all around. And Iron gets a kill. A little bit of a breathing room. And now Dude takes out Overkill. So that pushes... Mm, void, I guess, now. Turbo, uh, however, still above him. So that could be something here. Bama takes out Swift. Where did all the opponents go for Turbo? Oh, they're right at the entrance here, and G's gonna run into Nerov, taking another kill. Nerov with a stellar performance so far. Uh, Bama taking him out, and Dude trying to come around to help him with the objective. Last guy alive, Turbo, at the objective, is gonna get the kill on Bama. Suddenly, 1v1 situation. Quite an aggressive push there by him. Uh, I like what he's doing. 
on the other side, dude has to take a little... He has two flashes left, though, so that could potentially help. Did you just see him? I'm not sure. Oh, he threw both flashes. That is unfortunate for him. He has no idea where Turbo is. He's going to have to start taking the objective, I guess. Let's see how Turbo responds to that. Oh, he took it, actually. Did he take it? He did take it completely. That is good for dude, actually. Oh, no, that's too aggressive. He's way in the open there, hiding behind that box, and... That pistol off. What the? Oh my god, he gets the kill! I thought dude would come up with a big clutch here, but Turbo just keeps charging with his single shot pistol. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, wins the round for OFB, 6 to 3. One more round to go, and we're pretty much at the spot where I said this is how the round should go. Uh, and I see you guys just saw the result of that rush uh, by the responses in the chat. Uh, 6 to 3, it is for me already, so one round ahead. Um, we have one more round to go. Uh, if Ice 9 wants to make this a great assault, they need to win this round. If they want to make it a good assault, then they don't necessarily need to win this round. Uh, pretty much that's what it comes down to. For right now, Banner 14, G and Iron 9 kills, do 2, and Sean with 3 on the OFB side. More evenly spread, Nierov with 9, Turbo with 8, Overkill with 6, and then Grim Reaper and General Swift with 4 kills each. Here we go. Three guys left, Ice 9. Standard setup yet again. Not trying to spam it. Oh, I kept there's one spammer here. Oh, this could be interesting. He's pushing again to the middle. Overkill gets a kill on dude. And the same thing could happen that happened before with Bammer. And G in the same spot. Overkill gets that easy kill. And he's gonna find G as well with this flash. And should probably get that kill. And he gets a kill. Nice shot. Overkill. Three kills this round. Uh, fantastic performance so far. Um, putting that into a 4v2 situation. He's might, he might actually get a fourth kill if he stays there. Uh, who is that? Sean is around spawn waiting for overkill to come. And, oh, this could be interesting here. Oh, he could actually get that. Nice shot, Sean. Well deserved. He uh, well, waited patiently. So that was a good kill. Here's another guy in the radio room sitting there like nothing ever happened. Taking a break or something. Maybe drinking a sip of coffee. I don't know. Suddenly, what was a big disadvantage 2v4 is now a 2v1 advantage for Ice 9 and General Swift interesting spot is not going to be able to stop that bomb plant which I think pretty much mean means that Ice 9 won this round there we go Sean takes him out 7 to 3 good half and I'm not even gonna type anything but good half Ice 9 leading that match before switching to defense uh, as we said earlier it's first to 11 so they need four more rounds on defense in order to win this match uh, hey everyone, this is James Carter, and we are at halftime for the TWL North American pre-season matchup between Ice9 and OFB. This match has been voted upon uh, by the community. And I also just got word that uh, for the future league matches, TWL admins will just set a match of the week. The match of the week will always be Sundays, like all the other matches, but always one hour later than the other matches and that means uh, we will be able to cast all the matches f even for the people who play their own matches anyways let's go back into this match here uh, and talk about this in a little bit Green Reaper pushing around north very quickly and you can see a guy down there G with a nade kill on General Swift uh, Reaper we're taking a lot of time here but that actually pays off he almost gets a kill spamming through the woods Turbo takes out Iron uh, in the end Grim Reaper now being taken up by G. Huge push by Ice 9 just running around the map here. Turbo has no chance anymore. He's in chair room, but he has three guys pushing him really hard and running through shots everywhere. Sean finally takes him out. And what a push on defense by Ice 9. Uh, as I just realized, we forgot to put that one in game. Here we go. Uh, 8 to 3 is the score. This map is crazy fast. Uh, actually, I'm having quite a lot of fun casting this right now, um, although this is clearly not my preferred match map, but I think that's a discussion for another day. Uh, right now, we just want to follow how these two teams are doing, and um, who's going to come out top? Right now, S9 looks very, very strong. I know they have practiced a lot. I don't know uh, whether OFB has done the same. Um, I scrimmed a lot with Ice 9 last night as well, just for the fun of it, and they seem to have very, very good communication, very good coordination. And let's have a look at this one. For example, Dude, I believe, is gonna be the one throwing the fork grenade or something. Yeah, fork grenade over here so that Bama can run past without being spammed. 
And now he's in a spot where he can listen to people coming from... Uh oh, he must have seen that guy up there. No, he didn't. Oh, nice job here. Uh, General Swift against Banner. Grimmery for taking out uh, another kill as well. And Grimmery getting his second kill. And now it's being taken out by a dude as he tried to heal himself. Uh, 2e4 situation. Iron has to come up huge. And that is not going to happen as Toa takes him out with an 8. Last guy at the north boxes in the objective room. Overkill takes him out. Hey, Canifax, how are you doing? Haven't seen you around in a while. Uh, welcome everyone else to the stream as well. Very happy to have so many people watching right now, and I can't wait for this league to start. Well, it's starting today, but I can't wait for the regular season to start next week. Uh, is it correct that this map is going to be a uh, siege? Uh, I think it will be. Uh, I hope I'm not mistaken there, and we'll have some great matchups coming up. D Stang, is that Stagna? I'm not. Too, I'm not too tired right now. It's only 10:30 p.m. for me, so things are good over here. Thanks for asking, though. And uh, let's see what's happening. OFB with four guys on the right. That could be a similar objective push as Eyes 9 did earlier. I believe the easier side is defense, but um, we'll, we'll see that uh, over the course of matches. Two people pushing up here. I'm just going to follow Overkill as he's rushing into the objective room now. Oh, he just misses the guy at the object. Oh, nice job. Sean takes him out. Baba takes out. G gets a kill. Three kills right away for Eyes 9 within like two seconds. And that puts a stop to that rush. As I think Tobo was probably gonna get the kill. Uh, he is the last alive though. He's gonna try to find. Oh, he just turned away. You can hear a guy right below him too. And oh, in spawn gets the first kill. But now is all hell breaks loose basically for him. Sean ends that very very early on. Gets that kill. Nine to four for Ice Nine. Another round on defense. Um, those rounds are worth a lot right now as they're getting closer. And closer to finishing out that match, I think we can take another round, uh, go into their channel and listen to their comms. Okay. Dude, after you throw your fog, nade east probably, because they pushed in there in that the, time. In the courtyard? Or in east? Yeah. Justin, your nade, Justin, your nade was late. Yeah. That's Bama talking. I can I can get my nade there faster. I'll, I'll That's throw it in east room, you don't have to worry about the hallway. Right. right. But he and was that's in there. Yeah, I just threw around in a roll in that second yellow bridge. Do it. Well, that's a good nade. Unfortunately, no one is there this time. Didn't get anybody. I got two no, yellow. Yeah, I got two yellow. yellow. And yellow. And low west. Low west. Two, y two? Low west? Oh, he's coming connector. Yep. He's connector. I'm going to chair spawn. room, chair room, I think. I'm going to spawn. Is he tires? Tire bridge? Oh, he He's missed the bridge. Left, Sean. Lower west and box room. I flashed. No, Sean's box. It means chair room. It fell back? Yeah, chair room, sorry. Yeah, they fell back. No, not necessarily, kind of effects. One up. Blast his uh, chair. Nice flash. That should have him. Good job, y'all. Good job. Good job. Wow. Well, it sounds like pretty relaxed comms there, if you ask me. Uh, no, I'm not in Europe anymore. I moved to the States a couple couple years ago. Um, no, I believe... Um, <laughs> I'm just asking, answering your questions here. Can you imagine him casting Radio Tower? Oh, heck yes, I can. I actually enjoy casting Radio Tower a lot. It's a hell of a lot of fun for me. And I wish we had maps like Radio Tower in this game. Uh, um, that would definitely be interesting for me. And I would be all up for having that in the match as well. Um, but that's more of a personal preference because I really, really enjoy this map. Uh, anyways, let's go back to Crossfire. Special special aim map, I almost, almost have to say. If there were no nades, at least, that is. That would be quite an aim map. Um, anyways, uh, where are we? 10 to 4, Ace 9 on match point. And OFB facing a lot of problems, actually. Yeah, oh, Overkill running into the middle. He could be nade. That nade, let's follow it quickly. Not hitting anyone. And G with two kills! Taking out Overkill and Turbo G also getting Grim Reaper free kills for him as I'm trying to find him before anything else happens here. Okay, he's reloaded, he's healed. There's gonna be oh, oh that looked so 
freaking weird to me on my screen. He just slid down the stairs and died. 11-2-4. Uh, Good game. What a great, almost a blowout win here.